Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, I am Sahran Dalib and I am going to teach you software testing. So, for today our topic is about Maven. So, what is Maven and uh, how it works and all the things are covered in this lecture. But um, this is very important lecture so stay focused. So, first of all what is Maven? Maven is basically software project management and comprehension tool. So it is a build tool. It is also called build tool, right? So based on the concept of project object model, it is totally based on POM. POM is project object model and POM basically uh, has configuration details about the project and other descriptions. So POM file is an XML file and it is very important for Maven. So it is basically structural unit of Maven, you can say. So this is how Maven works. It works with POM that is the structural unit and is a very important unit for MVN. Okay, so what is Apache Maven? It is a tool for build automation considered mainly for Java projects. So basically it is a project management tool, right? So in this way you can uh, manage your software project in a way. It is Apache license and store the library and plugins in the central repository. So basically what it uh, does it stores the libraries and plugins in the central repository. So basically Apache Maven has its own central or re remote repository where the jar files and libraries they are uh, uh, present at that site and it's very easy to install them on your system. So uh, अगर मैं simple terms में कहूँ तो जैसे आपने देखा है मैं भी आपने use किया हो SQL server की अगर बात करते हैं तो हम जब उसको Java के project के साथ attach करने की बात करते हैं तो हमें SQL connector चाहिए होता है so, so in this way हम जो है वो uh, SQL connector इसका जो है वो हम manually ले के आते हैं उसको download करते हैं और उसके बाद हम उसके path वगैरह को configure करते हैं लेकिन इस manual a um, hectic process se bachne ke liye maven aap use kar sakte hain jo ke auto install kar leta hai jo dependencies chahiye hoti hain jo aapko files chahiye hoti hain wo auto install kar leta hai it has central repository and it is a build tool and it is a project management tool so you must remember these things now how it works basically pom stands for project object model and it is an xml file that controls the build Right, I told you that it's a structural unit. So it is an XML file having information about the project and its configuration. I told you it before. Then Maven search for POM before task execution. So the moment when the task is going to be executed, basically Maven searches for the POM file, POM XML file. So this file is very important because without it, you cannot uh, run a Maven based project because it is the structural unit. So Apache Maven uses standard build order directories and plugins and it build becomes easier. So build is very easy. You need jar files, war files from its central repository and they are directly downloaded and installed and it becomes very easy for you to manage the project. So now why Maven? First of all, there are a lot of complexities in a project that from one, one jar file is downloaded from the site, that there is another jar file that is downloaded from the other site and the libraries are connected and project is very complex. But here is the solution that Maven is, uh, has proposed that build become easier. So it removes the complexities, it removes those hectic processes that you get one file from one site and other and there are a lot of other things as well. But Maven has its central repository, there are a lot of jar files there and you can easily get the right file from there. Make the build consistent with other project. So dependencies ko easily manage kar sakte hain. Jo dependencies ya jo aapko us project ke chahiye, they are get managed easily. And the other thing is it's trending, right? So in industries, in practically, uh, actually Maven is greatly used all over the world. So it helps in downloading jar files. So it is mostly recommended for the Java projects. Now you can see the trend. It is basically trend from 2014 
but um, uh, from from then Mewen has its own peak values here it is 64% it means that the this build tool is used most often now there are for your information I have mentioned other tools as well so that you can um, acknowledge yourself for the trending technologies J unit on the top for the testing framework Jenkins uh, is used Git for the version control you know 69% it is most often used and uh, you can see Maven 64% used so there are these are things that are commonly used now what is the important stuff related to Maven First of all, it has a POM XML file that is very important structural junta. I am repeating again and again because it is configuring all the important things related to your Maven project. So here, how it get the files, you can see dependency, right? Uh, in this dependency, you can see there is a group ID, artifact ID and version. So you write the group ID for any jar you need, for any framework you need, then you write the its artifact ID and version ID. Now the question may arise that how this information you can get that what is the group ID of the Spring framework, what is the artifact ID of the, of, uh, of the Spring framework. So here is the answer. So you have to write MVN repository. So here comes your MVN repository. You can see that there are a lot of things present in the site, and it is the look. Uh, sorry, remote repository, central repository. Now, if you need, for example, Spring, you can write Spring over here, and you can see a lot of frameworks related to Spring framework. And um, what whatever the uh, thing you need, you may click over there. Then you can see that there are a lot of other spring context, spring framework cloud, whatever the thing you need, whatever the library or whatever the uh, whatever the version you need, you can get over there. Now there are a lot of things. For example, you need this release. Now you can see that here you have Maven, Gradle, and in the Maven you have the this thing dependency so only you have what you have to do is you uh, just copy this information and then you have to paste that in the POM file or XML file right so this is basically dependency of Spring Cloud Commons 2.1.6 release so for this version you have to what you have to do is you 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 come to know that group ID is this artifact ID is this and version is this so here is the information the answer of that question that from where we can get the information about its group ID artifact ID and version So now let's come um, back to the lecture that now you have MVN based project It has your group ID artifact ID and the package basically group ID and artifact ID in combination make your package right so group ID is uniquely uh, identifies uh, your uh, project group artifact ID uniquely identifies your project title now you can see that if you are using your machine uh, and uh, you, are, you have an MVN based project then that machine uh, MVN based project search for the local repository if there is any dependency it search for local repository that uh, if dependency is present it at your machine or at your local repository if it is present then it will use it otherwise it will search for remote repository that i have told you that is central repository on the website and there are a lot of frameworks and a uh, lot of plugins there and you can easily download them so this is the hierarchy first of all you have to search for local repository if if it is not present then automatically from the report uh, re remote repository mvn install the things Okay, so the what conclusion we draw that we can get the uh, right jar file from the Maven repository. It is a central repository and uh, mvnrepository.com is its uh, location. Task of downloading jar, var files and dependencies need not to be done manually as it is auto done because if you need any jar file or any dependency you do not do it manually that you have to key you have to download that jar file and that version and then you have to connect and there are a lot of things it automatically 
uh, does all the things and you don't need to do it manually right so this is your conclusion that ambient is very good to use so on this side basically you have published jars by the year you can see that in 2004 only one jar was there usually it has the number has now increased and there are a lot of jar files whatever jar file you need you just have to install from this side from the central repository of maven so this was this was all about maven now let's uh, work practically how the maven works and what are the pre requirements uh, you uh, you need to uh, create a maven based project so in this regard first you have to mix meet some prerequisites you have to set up your java environment and then you have to set up your maven environment to set the java environment there are certain steps you need to perform so step 1 set java environment set the java home environment variable to point to the base directory location where java is installed on your machine you must know that where the java is installed at your machine right so for this purpose you can open your program files where you have installed your java and then you click on it and you see that there is a jdk file so you can uh, copy this path right so you may copy this path and now you can set this path through this variable so now how you can get this variable you have copied the path and now you need to open uh, you need to create this variable so how you will uh, create this variable go to the environment variables edit the system environment variables environment variable and now you have to create a new environment variable with the name let's suppose java home and you have to paste the path here but i have already pasted it that's why i'm not clicking on okay that uh, i have to cancel it you can see that java home this path is created right so uh, e, uh, this when this path is created now you have to cop uh, then you have to copy your the bin path of the java file right uh, so how can we get that obviously the program uh, files there is a pin then you have to copy this path and you have to copy this path and then what you have to do is go to the path look this is the path so you go to this path and then new and copy the path of pin now you can see that i already have uh, done this this is uh, the here it is therefore i have to delete it otherwise you have to perform this step right so now at least your java uh, environment has been set so for now what you have to do is go to your command line command prompt and there you can check the java version java and version and you can see that now it is basically the verification that either the it is successfully done or not right so in this way your java environment has been set now you can see that java home uh, variable has been set to the path of jdk file and then what you have to do is the bin path is uh, uh, is added to the path of system path then you have also verified that uh, through java version command that the environment has been set so you have set the java environment now there is the second thing that you have to set up the maven environment so how it happens that first you have to go to this link that is um, maven archive so in this way you from there you do you have to download the maven archive so let's move towards there here you can see a lot of files uh you have to go that, to the that link which i have mentioned in the uh, file i have uh, told you now and now you have to select this one if you are using windows right so according to your system you have to select among them uh, and then you have to download them so it's downloaded it's basically an archive file so you have to extract this file right so how do you extract it so 
so basically java projects so how do you extract it it's the file here the file is and you have to extract it to get these files right so you get these files from the extraction of maven archive now extract the maven file i have already extracted now set the maven environment variable as you have set the environment variable for java now you have to set the environment variable for maven now how you have to do it you have again write the environment variables environment variables and then you have to create a new environment variable that is for example maven home and which variable you are going to do uh, to give the path towards the maven variable it is the file where your maven file is extracted you have extracted the file and now you have to copy its path for example here it is you have to copy it and then you have to set it here right so you have to click on ok i have already done therefore i need not to do it so you can see that this is maven home after this what you have to do is again you have to uh, get its bin path and you have to create another variable now let's see where it is open its bin get the path go to new then for example i uh, write the variable name as m2 and you can select the path over here you can also do this and there is also another option for you that if you want to get the location already you have inserted call that variable that was maven home right and afterwards it's big you can do that right so you can see that this is the variable i have told you right now after that go to the path in the path you have to call the path of your m2 variable that has the path of the bin directory so you see that i have mentioned here the m2 you can also give provide the full path you can also provide here the full path of bin it is equivalent to m2 if it is written in this format right so you can do it okay so in this way you can set your uh, maven environment now what you have to do you have set the maven environment variables set the environment using system properties you have given the path of uh, your um, maven extracted files and then you have created a variable and given the bin path then you have uh, in the path you have mentioned your that m2 variable or full bin path you can also give that so now you have to verify as like you have done in a uh, for the java java verification now you have also to verify the maven installation so what what is the way again you have to open the command prompt here you have to write mvn version now you can see that it means that is it has been successfully uh, upgraded or it has successfully done right so in this way you have verified your maven installation so basically now up till now you have done two things you have set the java environment uh, by introducing the variables to the system directories and then you have verified the maven installation so these two things you have set up uh, for the configuration number one java environment number two maven installation now what you have to do is you have to create a new maven project so for this purpose i have to use some ide i am using intellij and you can use any uh, of the ide available for the java for example you can use eclipse you can use netbeans okay so now it's opened now what you have to do is you can 
create a new file so go to the file and click on new create a project over here now among them select maven because you are going to create a maven base project then it's click on next now name the project that is calculator after that there are some artifacts for example group id name it let's suppose softtech no.com and this is the artifact id which is as it is your project name and group id is usually a company domain name or so they both basically make your project package name right so finish it okay now first of all you can see that when uh, when ever you will create the project or uh, a maven based project you will see the pom xml file so here it is your group id artifact id version and you have seen that uh, in pom xml yeah uh, i have told you that it is a config it is a file for configuration right it has the details of the project so you can see all the details of the project it is a structural unit so it is the basic unit without it maven based project cannot run now you can see that uh, there is a source go to the main and here it is java now create a simple you can say java class but select an interface for example i am going to make a calculator interface calculator interface like so it's an interface now what you have to do is to make a new class java class the name it with calculator implementation calculator implementation okay it's a class now you have a calculator implementation class that should basically implements implements what it should implement your calculator interface right now in calculator interface what you have to do is to make some methods right okay now you have to create methods over there that is public abstract uh, add nums let's suppose similarly you also have to create another method let's suppose name it subtract nums right so it it should has it should have an integer with first number and integer with second number similarly integer first number right so in this way you have made two abstract methods in the interface of calculator now in implementation as you know that you have implemented the interface now what you have to do is you have to uh, define the methods over here right so some method body let it return first number plus second number similarly create another method that should be subtract nums and first number minus second number so here you have got two methods and this class is basically implementing the interface now what you have to do is you have to press control alt s in this you can find the build execution deployment in that you have to go towards the build tools open maven now by default maven home directory is by default this right you have to choose your one where you have extracted the files now you may override the user setting file and it should be setting.xml but right so open it go to its configuration file here it is setting xml okay 
automatically it will say that your local repository is maven repos and you know as you know that i have created a folder for local repository so it's maven repos now now i am going to apply all the things i have done and click on okay now let's talk about the dependencies go to the pom file and here you may have to write dependencies right so now which dependency basically you need for example for example you need j unit 5 engine and this is the dependency file you have to copy it and paste it over in the pom file yeah now you will see that it will automatically install all the needed files in the central repository i have told you that maven repos is empty till now but it will be filled by this you can see that it is downloading all the things from the central library right it will take some your some time and then it will be download all the things required from the central library and central repository and uh, it will add all the files in the maven repository you can see that maven repository is still now it's empty and saath saath aap dekhiye yahan pe add hoti jayengi aapke paas files तो जब तक ये फाइल्स ऐड होती हैं हम देख लेते हैं कि हमने अभी तक किया क्या है वट वी हैव लर्न टिल नाउ जावा इन्वायरमेंट देन वी हैव सेट अप द इन्वायरमेंट फॉर जावा देन वी हैव सेट अप द इन्वायरमेंट फॉर मेवन देन वी हैव क्रिएटेड अ न्यू प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग इंटेलिजेंट यू कैन यूज एनी आई डी ई बट फॉर मी इट इज प्रेफरेबल देन डिफाइन यू हैव डिफाइन कस्टम रिपोजिट्री फॉर मेवन डिपेंडेंसीज राइट you have defined for example a custom rep repository uh, let's suppose maven repos then maven home directory path setting so, as you have now configured the maven uh, directory path and at the last what you have done you have you are now downloading the default maven repositories from the central repository right so this is the uh, these are the things you have done till now so finally the build is at its success level and you can see that uh, the uh, installation from the central repository so this was all uh, that you must know about the lecture so this was all you must be aware how to configure the maven how to configure the files and what maven is used for and how to make the classes and interface using maven platform right so uh, in this lecture it was mainly about maven and its configuration for next as you know that we have a dependency about the j unit so we will cover it in the next lecture and uh, for the test cases so the next topic for the lab will be j unit till now you must know Uh, about the configuration details and about this uh, adding the dependencies in the pom xml file in maven and this is all from my side thank you